What up, what up, what up? You know what time it is. Technique Tuesday at the DB Lab with Coach Vic. So here we go, man. All right. So um, so we're in season right now. We're actually going to the playoffs. So all of my guys here are going to the playoffs. Most of my guys you see here are going to the playoffs or whatnot. So um, so, um, so we're, we're, we're working in season. Now, mind we we've been working in season. We've been working in season for the last show. Oh, I mean the whole season that we don't we don't stop, especially when it goes in season. Then we take a break in like December, January when the season is over with, and then we'll we'll get back rolling probably late January. But like this thing doesn't stop. Like your body does not want to do the things that we're doing, right? You know what I'm saying? That's that's uncomfortable. So in order to 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 really uh, force your body to uh, to conform to what we're trying to get it to do on a consistent basis, which allows it to be more consistent on the field. You need more volume, and so we don't. You know, we work ten ten months out of the year, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, nonetheless, man, we're in season right now, and uh, what we do is on on uh, on our training day on Sunday, we only train is only 40, uh, 45 minutes. Fifteen minutes of that is uh, our warm up and just getting really laddered up. You know what I'm saying? Flushing the body of all the uh, lactic acid and things of that sort that's built up throughout the uh, the game and and the week. So we flush the body. So. What we what we do though is that we 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 uh, we go over things that we've done in the previous game or that we're gonna see in the next upcoming game. So, prime example, if if we're working a technique in a game and somebody and a receiver beats us on it, and they may have beat us on it because a couple times, then the other team uh, next week are probably gonna try the same thing. So we want to kind of get ahead of that, right? And so what we're working on right here is uh, our press and our press man being able to give hands, commit to the go route, commit to the to the go route, to the spray route, to the speed release, commit to that, and then be able to react off of that. So one of them you'll see the whip, and then the other one you will see you'll see us whip our head and our body around, and the other one you will see us stay square. And so that's what we, that's what we're showing here. Now, because we're in season, we just attack. So if if any one of my guys have questions about their technique or have questions about off-band press, man, whatever technique they have, some, something conceptual, conceptual, uh, conceptual, uh, excuse me, with the uh, with the defensive coordinator, we go over that as well. Okay, we go over that as well. So uh, you know, with with far as concepts and things of that sort. So right now, you'll see. Um, the receiver right here is giving him a spray a spray route. My guy Charlie right here stands square, right, and gonna break on that. So that's like a slant. That's more of a slant situation, right? Same deal. Here we go. We're gonna do it again. Bam. There you go. Push, push. Don't cross your feet. You know what I'm saying? Really good job right there. So here we go. This is, my, this is our other guy right here. This is Frankie, right? Bam, bam. Give him the hand. Bam. He kind of cheated the drill a little bit, so we had to do it over. Uh, good job. Good job. Press me, yes, man. Good job. Here we go again. There we go. That's why I want him at. All right. So what I meant, by, what I mean by this is, I want him right here on top of this, on top of this receiver right here. So you have to commit to it. Don't just work the drill to work the drill. You know, you want to work the drill to actually put yourself in that environment, right? You want to be in that environment, in that uncomfortable situation, and then you want to be able to react to it with thought process, with information, right? And so what the information we have right now is we're going to stay square on it. So he did a good job. He stayed on top of it. He impeded the receiver process right here. Bam. Now he's now that's that's what I want to see right there. So that's when he did it over. That was a really good one right there. Right? Same deal. Here we go again. Bam. Compete his process over top. Bam. Right there. Cool. That's a slant route. That's what we're seeing. And so that's what my guys have been seeing lately. They they've been seeing a slant with a spray route. So with the spray release. So uh the spray release here. Receiver, spray release, or or speed. This right here is a speed release right here. But it's a speed release, bam. You going out, you got to commit to it like that, bam. So now you see the other one, the whip, all right? You see what's doing the whip here. Yeah, so we want to commit to it. We So what happened was we got to create this scenario and practice, right, in training. So, bam, we got our hands on him. He did a, he did a speed release. We got to get to him right now. We got to beat him in Peter's process. Oh, snap, he's going under us. He's going under us now. We got to whip our head, whip our body around, whip our head around first, get our body around, and get back on this angle here. See this angle right here? Do not go flat. Do not go flat on the 90. You gotta get back on the angle. Get back to the to the uh to to the receiver's hip, right? And that's what you guys are looking at, right? You gotta get back to the receiver's hip. We look at the ear hole. We'll get back to the ear hole right now. 
right? So that's the goal. Get our head around ASAP. That's what we like to do here. And that's what we have to do here. So it puts in a good spot. So now, now when, it, when a route ends, I'm in a spot where I still can defend by my angle and my positioning and my leverage, but also can defend um, by my length and being able to make plays on the ball, okay? So let's see if we can see that one again. Here we go. Good stance. Look, you already know how we get down here. Good stance and start. Good, good posture. Good bend here. Good quality bend. I like his arms where they at, right? Getting ready to be active, okay? Good feet right there. Good feet. Let me see some. Let me get this off. Yeah, good feet, right? Right there. Bam. Okay, here we go. Yep, good job with the feet. I don't like the feet clicking, but it's okay. We'll fix that. Bam, good job. I like how you got back down to him. Really good right there. Ah, so you missed the shot. So that happens sometimes, right, with the speed release. You missed the shot. Just get to the right spot. Now, he cheated this drill a little bit, all right? This is my kid, Josiah, right here. He's uh, He has the Alabama and uh, Louisville offers. Um, but he committed. He he, overly comm he didn't do the drill properly here. So we got to fix that, all right? Uh, but we'll get there. Okay, we'll get there. Bam. All right, cool. I like this. I like the feet not crossing. Bam. I like his hand to be higher, though. See his hands down right here? His hand need to be up there on the shoulders, okay? But um, but that's that's not bad. We'll fix it. We'll fix it and make it more cleaner, but that's my bad. Bam. Good job. Yes. That is beautiful right there, man. Beautiful work with my man Frankie right there. Idaho commit. Idaho commit. We think he's going to get something bigger, though, because he, uh, he a guy, man. Bosco, St. John Bosco was the number one team in the country, uh, number three in the country right now. But, uh, but yeah, man, great cornerback over there. Okay. Uh, here's my kid, uh, Justin, right here. Justice. So, Justice is really tall, long. I need to get him to move and get his engine started, right? So, he did a good job here getting his engine started, his feet moving. They didn't, they didn't cross over. Good job, bro. Look at that patience, bro. Good, beautiful work. And this is a 6'2 kid right here, all right? He got a Louisville offer, okay? 6'2 kid right here. This is a big, big corner right here, man. A 190, you know what I'm saying? So be able to get that engine started and get that stuff moving is great, man. This is really good. I'm just so so proud of him. It took us a lot of a lot of work, man. We don't Our work don't stop, man. We get to work here. Look at that. Good job, man. Good feet. Good balance. Look at this balance of this body right here, man. Look at this balance of this body right here. Look at this right here. Bam. You see this? This is really good balance, man. Look at that. Gather himself. Ah, beautiful work, man. Beautiful work, man. I love this stuff, man. <laughs> I do, man. All right, good job. You two-hand him. All right. There we go. Good job. Get him back off you. All right, this is my boy Jonah right here. He got some stuff coming soon. All right, good job. He faked you out. Bam. Good job getting back, man. And this is Charlie. We got Charlie going to be getting some stuff soon, too. So we get him rolling. Good job. I like, you see how you Charlie whip that head around? You have to be very detailed about what you're doing here because, you know, it can easily be uh, get ugly really quickly, right, with a receiver running the slant. Good job. Good job. And he got his eyes in the right spot. And he got his eyes in the right spot. All right. So, nonetheless, you're in the DB Lab with Coach Vic. Hey, man, this is great work. If you like this, let me know, and I'm going to do more of these things, okay? I'm going to do more of these things, all right? So uh, if you're on YouTube, please comment below. If you're on Instagram, please comment. You know all the other ones, uh, you comment, man. Let's get to work, man. We're on it, man. We're going to teach, man. We're getting back to the off season, so it's time to go to work. We got to start building the system. Periodization, right? Periodization right here, right? This is for my coaches and my trainers. We got to start using periodization, getting back to the fundamentals uh, for three months, uh, two to three months from January to March. Then we got to start getting to uh, camp prep, which is going to be putting us in one-on-one -on -one situations, and the kids should be playing seven-on-seven -seven if they're uh, uh, as well. And then we got we got camp, right? And then we got camps in, in, in May, so we got to get rolling. This thing don't stop, man. All right, you got to build your program, build your periodization. But right now we're in playoffs, but I have to think about those things. But we're in the playoffs right now, so we're working on very detailed situational football things, right? In training, in practice, in training right now for us, okay? So here we go. At Deep Lab Convict, we out. Yeah.